Hello, I'm Darlene and I'm going to give you a lesson on bow making. Um, the big poofy bows that are used in floral arrangements are usually made with about three yards of ribbon. Now I got this at the dollar store. You want to look and make sure there's at least three yards on it. And this is particularly nice because it's wired. Wired ribbon is good because even if you store it from one year to the next and it gets all smooshed, you can poof it back up again. So we're going to pretend like this is regular ribbon that is not wired so you can see how to do it whether you have wired ribbon or not. The first thing you want to do is let the ribbon drop off to your right if you're right handed and you want it on the floor so you can pull it as you need it. And you want to start by determining how long you want the first tail of the ribbon to be. So I'm not going to make it real long. I'm going to come in here and this is going to be the center of my bow. So the principle of bow making is to make the loops and squunch it together in the middle so you can have it all together in a bow. We're going to build the loops from the bottom. So I'm going to fold the first loop up and I'm going to look at it before I continue because this is going to determine the size of my bow. If it's way too big, I'm going to want to pull it back some. And these are the largest loops at the bottom. We're building from the bottom up. So you want to make sure you have the size loop you want to, from the start. So then you come and fold in and make your next loop. You want to make sure they're pretty even. If you have a ribbon that's one-sided, this is nice because it's the same on both sides, but if you have a ribbon that's one-sided, you have to reach in tight with your thumb and your finger and give a twist each time you make a loop so that you have the right side up. So then you come back in. And as I'm folding, I'm kind of making the shape of the bow. So you want three or four bigger loops for the bottom. And then you're going to start building the smaller loops that will make the top of the bow. And you come through the middle, give a twist, and then make your next loop. Now I'm already running short on ribbon, so as you can see, this uses up three yards fairly quickly and I'm down to the last bit here and so I'm going to twist and I'm going to make a little loop for the middle of the bow and fold it and hold it under my thumb and then the second tail is going to come off to the other side. We'll get that tape off later. Okay, now you're holding all of this together. Don't worry how it looks right now. It's going to be a bit of a mess. Now we need to tie this all together so we're just going to take a pipe cleaner or if you make a lot of these, you're going to want to use floral wire. It's stronger and it'll last a long time. It doesn't show as much. So you put the pipe cleaner through that top loop and about center it. And then I'm going to slide it under my thumb to still hold everything together. And then with my other hand, I'm going to push everything back to the back of the bow. And I'm going to twist it. And then to tighten the wire, you don't want to keep twisting the wire because that spins out. You want to twist next to the bow. So you're going to hold it and twist the whole bow. And that tightens the wire up around the bow part. Okay, now it looks really awful right now, but the fun part is you fluff it up. You bring the, the ribbon around and you know, clean up the edges and put your hand in and really poof it out so the loops are nice and big. And even if you're not using wired ribbon, the ribbon is formed into loops so it will hold the body of these loops even if there's not wire in it. You pull this last tail that you made back down through so it looks like it's coming from underneath. And just keep fluffing it, move the big loops around so they're symmetrical and you end up with a nice big poofy florist bow. If you want to make a great big bow for like on Christmas trees or at the top of trees, you're going to want to use five yards. Use the same principle, build it from the bottom up, and that's the quickest and easiest way to make a ribbon bow.